Hello everyone, this is It Gaming and this is my rendition of Survivor Island. This game is recommended by one of my viewers of this channel and this looks pretty promising and interesting so far. It's like a base building strategy type game. So you can build base uh, and have a resource management because there are limited number of people available but basically as the game progresses you will able to get more people and this game play is on 1.5 speed because mainly this game is like a waiting game yeah because I don't want to make you bored and I just want to play through this gameplay I think yeah this is gonna be a better option but basically there are some resources that we need to fulfill and basically there are worker that we have so the number of population on this village determine how many worker we have and there are some buildings but for now I cannot seem to move those placement so we just need to follow that i think it is because we are still on a beginning phase of the game so yeah the graphics are pretty good and so far we only have five people and you can search people uh, if you have any available space you can search people to add some population but the reason i'm not adding more population for now because we still need a lot of food yeah i'm focusing on the task so yeah okay uh, hunters hunters will get food but we still need more food it is insufficient so i think yeah i'm think i'm gonna place 10 uh, just to follow the task for now Yeah, and so far it's pretty good because The game is actually pretty slow if you download it on yourself The game itself doesn't rush toward like I did because I fast forward this gameplay, but basically it is a simple game um, yeah more like a waiting game because not much strategy involved at least for now so yeah so for every unemployed worker or your city population your village population uh, they will become a worker yeah we we mentioned those as survivor yeah so right now we only have see uh, let's upgrade the ship the ship is more like like a town hall per se because the moment you upgrade your ship you will get more building unlock more building and it seems that there are a day and night cycle on this game which is better because this will give you a real yeah give you a real sense of surviving because it seems more peaceful for now i haven't encountered any uh, difficulties except for that person i think everyone is starving right now but for now let's just go the arrow tower there yeah he say he's a little bit package so yeah our chef already creating the food so hopefully that will be enough all the chests okay let's see yeah arrow tower is on progress so actually 
the progress itself it's pretty good the storage is available but yeah now the villager the survivor goes to it yeah. okay so basically if you're playing this game so far at this point there are no force add but you can always support the developer but basically so far i don't find any force add okay great archer as a defender uh, okay now we can move it yes we can move our unit everywhere now which is good now i can focus on creating and arranging my base uh, weight training okay so there are rubies like a red currency and you can yeah actually you can upgrade and buy upgrade and that's the gold the gold is for upgrading the tech yes i think so far so good uh, it's pretty simple uh, this game is suitable if you want to find a simple interesting game which is pretty entertaining and not rushed yeah this game is actually very relaxing but i speed it up so you don't bored at my explanation and at this video i give about three or four hours of progress so i think i'm gonna time skip for some point because at some moment i don't have anything interesting going on mostly like this one just a cycle of day and night and upgrading creating unit uh, yeah collecting chest upgrading etc so at least for now there is nothing challenging for now it's just a cycle of resource management and if you notice the thing is like a frost punk a PC game that's focused on yeah, resource management, building management. Okay, now we're going to create more wood storehouse. But yeah, basically, I think I'm gonna time skip for now and see you again. Okay, so basically i've done about one hour of progress and if you see i have two towers a farm and i've arranged my storehouse and there are enemies or invasions that happens so that's why i put my arrow down there because the pirates if you don't hit them uh, they will take some of your resources yeah and this is how i manage it for now the tent are all on level two and i'm currently waiting on more resources to create level three ships yeah or town hall yeah i think i'm gonna let the archer down because uh there is nothing to defend when it's on this stage only when the pirates come so i think on the next stage of this game we'll able to see enemies or challenges about the mist if you can see on the stage on the forest there are mist and those mist are actually defeated by our fireplace but i think we're gonna see more complexities yeah because so far so good and if you can see 
when your survivor collecting woods, it seems that they are creating an open space so you can build there. So yeah, I think it is something that we also need to strategize for now. Uh, let's just advance those. The speed and everything going back to their own position and we don't need that for now unless there is pirate attack going on let us focus on creating and collecting chest uh, I'm not gonna upgrade for now let's just see what this game has to offer Yeah, because this is how my habits are like to collecting the resources and upgrading necessary buildings. But yeah, basically the aspect of this game is still simple. It is not complicated enough. It is a relaxing game. And once again, if you are looking for yeah some game to kill the time, in a relaxed manner i think this game will be a match for you because this is basically an idle game yeah you just let it be and if you are offline you can actually get offline progression so yeah basically this game is to enjoy but i choose to speed it up so you don't get bored Okay, so far I think uh, there is nothing of much importance for now. Uh, I think I'm gonna move it there because I'd like to open some spaces above and I'm interested to see what's beyond the mist. And okay, it seems that we have some complication. Some worker are sick. With kind of flu and oh the people can die from the disease yeah uh, i think i'm gonna repositioning again <laughs> so not many people contracted with the disease at least until i'm able to upgrade so yeah i think i'm gonna time skip and see you again okay now i've come back and if you see i've progressed a little bit far it seems that everything goes well because the meat is abundant the food is abundant and now we unlock the stone production and the pirates will attack more so let's create uh, let's put that. Oh, I forgot to put the archer. Oops. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, now that's the enemy. Uh, so far, so good. Let's see. I think at these aspects of the game, it's similar to tower defense type of battle. So actually. Yeah, maybe at some point on our game we can create a maze, I don't know. But basically, that would be very interesting. A combination of base building and tower defense. But yeah, now we can collect stone. Uh, but for now, yeah, I'm gonna move there and there yeah so i can expand in both direction yeah because uh this is basically a building game a waiting game sorry uh the basis of this game is to manage the resources and building the economy so yeah 
and so far uh, if you read on the explanation we can actually move to different island and when pirates attack there are new currencies on the top left a map currencies that we can use to move toward another island but yeah basically this game is a waiting game and also you need to manage all the units because you cannot have as much unit as possible uh, because they also need food and that will raise the problem okay now we can create clinic let's move that first there and let's create clinic okay nice finally uh, let's see do we have the worker uh, now one of the survivor is sick uh, let's search for more survivor we found one and then <laughs> we lose one <laughs> what a fate uh, and then uh, let the unlumber check keep moving we have one slot left yeah but basically i think i'm gonna put a lot of on yeah on wood production because besides it is a main economy main currency i can see when you are opening the forest you will get an open space for your building and that's worth the investment i guess for now but yeah basically it is pretty interesting to see the gameplay are simple and it is enjoyable the music also relaxing but it's different now because i speed this game but yeah basically it is such an interesting take on base building resource management simulation and uh, maybe has a little bit of tower defense yeah but i think it is interesting enough for me to join and play this game okay now we can treat the wounded that has disease and once again uh, it needs time so at some point we have to be clever with the number of thing we do because it all involves the time but yeah basically we've improved a lot uh, now level 20 the movement speed is better than the beginning and the first time i play and every resources are abundant and everything's so good for now at least and yeah let's see when the net arrives it tends to be calmer slower because actually nothing's happened but maybe it's because we are on still on beginning stage of this game so yeah yeah i think that's that for now i think there is nothing much to do uh i'm gonna still continue playing this game uh, there are another pirates attack but i think i'm gonna end this for now so but i'm still gonna progressing so far and i'm gonna see you on the next time bye bye